everyone. So today I'm going to be setting up my planner for 2019. And if you follow me over on Instagram, I mentioned that the way I was going to do it is I was going to totally clear out my planner of everything and then kind of just keep the things that I love, like certain dividers and pockets and a couple of accessories, but then start from scratch with everything else. And that's kind of the way I approach decluttering anything like even my house so let's say I'm decluttering my closet I would empty everything out because I find it easier to start from scratch and then I would slowly bring back things that I really love or need and then purge most of everything else so that's kind of the approach I had for my planner for 2019 um, so I was planning to kind of document the journey little by little on Instagram stories. I did like maybe one or two of those updates, but then, you know, life happened and things got busy. So I wasn't able to do it as much as I would have liked, but I will kind of walk you through the process um, of what I did today. So over the past weeks, I've been collecting or gathering all these supplies that I'm going to use for my 2019 setup. And as I put them here into this planner, I will tell you quickly, you know, where I got it. And then I will be sure to link everything down below in the description box. So if you want to pick up anything, you can. So first of all, I am still going to be in my personal size Louis Vuitton agenda. This is the MM size and I I switched from pocket size to this size, I don't know, like maybe the last quarter of 2018 and I've really been enjoying the extra space. Although I loved pocket size, um, it was so much lighter and portable um, because how small it is, I really do like just a little bit of extra space that I get in a personal size. So I am gonna start 2019 in this um, planner and so like I said this is the MM size Louis Vuitton this is how it looks at the top and the side and this is how it looks on the inside and so the first thing let's see the first thing I'll do is the pockets so I brought out some new packets here what I put in these pockets are my most used sticky notes. And so right now my most used sticky notes are these ones, which are from, that comes in a packet like this from Create365, which is the Happy Planner type um, line. And so it comes in a whole um, pack like this, but really I use these ones the most because these are the perfect size for, you know, most of the layouts, um, for like planner inserts or planner pages. And I believe these are 1.5 inches wide and they just fit so perfectly and it's hard to find this exact size of page flag. So I really love these a lot. I actually bought a few packs of these so it could last me long. Um, I think I got it on scrapbook.com and I'll link that. But I keep these here in one of the top little pockets here. And then I really love these stickers or these sticky notes, and they're from Kaiser Craft, and it came in a pack like this. I really like these as well. I do use these, but I don't keep them in my planner. And then it has some smaller page flags, and then this, I believe, is like a two by two, and I really like it because it's just a great size, not too big, not too small. Um, I'll link where I got this, I think maybe Amazon. So I like to keep those in like the, one of the middle pockets here. And then down here, I don't have it yet. I'm getting some business cards made um, just so I could pass out because sometimes in real life, I do come across um, people that ask me about what I do and are interested in finding out more. So I'd like to carry a few business cards and that would go right here in this pocket. And what's great about that too is if I ever lose this planner, uh, my business cards are right there so they can contact me hopefully and return it. So then let's see what I've got here. Um, I'll start with the dashboard. Let's see here. So I bought some of these like pocket, like plus, I don't know what they're called, plastic pocket, th pocket things like from Foxy Fix. And I really like these a lot. These um, are such good quality. They're really thick. They're very transparent. So not that cloudy type of pocket. And they just feel like great quality. And I like how, um, 
the different options she has. So like for instance, this one is like a side loading pocket. This one's like a secretarial pocket with one on the back side as well. And this one is like two, um, I think this is probably three by three size pockets here, one on top and one on the bottom. It's not on the back, just on the front. I really like these a lot, so I'll show you how I use them. I use this side loading one right in the front. I'm gonna use it as my dashboard. And I'm gonna get this journaling card that came in one of my um, monthly subscription kits, I think. October yeah I think it was October this came in so it's just a little journaling card and I'm going to stick it right here in the front and then I have this little sticker patch from Brit & Co and I got it at um, Target which they don't sell it there anymore and I can't find it anywhere um, online so Unfortunately, you can't get this exact one, but I have seen similar ones. I think at Hobby Lobby um, It's very similar to this. It's a sticker patch So I think if you do some research, maybe I'll try to link the Hobby Lobby one there, but it's very similar to this um, from Brit & Co and then I have this vellum so I just Had I had a version of this in the first subscription box that I ever had or subscription kit in September and it said plan a life you love and all I did was I took the back because um in the subscription kit it's on an eight and a half by 11 size paper and I folded it in half so the front part of that flap had plan a life you love but on the back was just blank so all I did was trim this off of the back and punch holes in it and I'm going to use it for the back of this just as a background so it's very subtle very clean looking and then I use a clip from k and Co XOXO, and I love these little dangle clips. It's just adding like a little bit of bling to your planner, and I use that just to hold it all together. So I just clip that at the top, like that, and then that's my dashboard. So that's what would go right at the front, and I really like it a lot because I can just you know, as the months go by, I can switch out this card whenever I want very easily by sliding it in and out, replace it with something new if I want. So yeah. Then the first section of my planner, if you've seen my other videos before, is always the goal setting section. So as I'm going through um, how I'm setting up my planner, I'm also going to show you the new inserts that I made. So I know a lot of you have been waiting patiently or not so patiently for the new inserts to come to the shop and I'm so sorry for the wait. Um, I'm about one third done. I made all the inserts. I designed all the insert designs and I test printed them for personal size. So I got that all done and I think all the designs are set. Now I just have to kind of resize it for pocket size and A5 size and then they will list, be listed in the shop. And I had hoped to have them um, up by first Friday, which was yesterday, today, Saturday. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that happen. So I am have a goal for this upcoming Friday, um, which is, I don't know what's the date. Sorry, but this upcoming Friday. So this is the first set of inserts that I have at the front of my planner. This is going to be new to the shop. It's going to be called the yearly bundle and it's going to be available in all three sizes pocket personal and a5 for now i know i've gotten some requests for a6 b6 and half letter and i'll look into that at a later date but for now just the three standard sizes so this will be available in the shop i do have a free version um, which is on my website actually right now it I took it down because I um, I was reorganizing a little bit I'll put it back up. So there is a free version that has the um, Titles up here, but then it's a dot grid down below none of these like boxes So you can get a free version on my website, but this version will be only available as printed in um, the shop so like I said, this is new to the shop. This bundle is called the Yearly Bundle, 
and this is how it looks. So it's blank on the first page because I was thinking that you can use this as a vision board. So you, if you have it at the front of your planner, you can stick, you know, word, cut out words from magazines or pictures or whatever you want as a vision board and have it here at the front of your planner. Or for me, because I use this kind of as my vision board a little bit, all I do is I clip it to the back of this dashboard. And I do use it kind of like as a vision board. It's my like inspiration um, of like any kind of motivating quote or images. And I, so I just have it like that. So let me put it this way so you guys can see. So that's why the first page is blank. So you can do something like this or you can, um, like I said, attach images or words to the front to use as um, a dashboard a vision board so then this is how it looks the spread so the top goal spread um, in the coming weeks i'm going to go over this with you guys more in more detail of how i fill this out right now i left it blank because i'm just barely setting up my planner and also because i wanted to show you how it looks without any writing in it so here i have a spot for my top goals and then I can use this spot for anything. For me personally, I'm gonna use it as a bucket list. So I have my top priority goals here and then miscellaneous things I wanna accomplish for the year here. And then when you turn the page, there's monthly tasks. And I have three sections here that kind of correspond with these three top goals for monthly recurring tasks. And then any miscellaneous tasks you can put on this side. In the next, I have my weekly tasks. So I have a notes section in the Monday through Sunday for weekly recurring tasks. And again, like I said, I'll show you in another video more in detail of how I fill this out. And then I have my daily schedule. So I have from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Um, just to write my ideal daily schedule. And on this side, I could write either recurring ta daily tasks or I could put an alternate schedule here for like this could be for weekdays and this could be for weekends and then you could put the times here and um, I kind of left it open to use it however you want and then the back page is just a place for miscellaneous notes and then also included in the yearly bundle is the 2019 um, year at a glance and this is actually available right now on my website as a free download in all three sizes but it's also part of the printed bundle in the shop or will be so it has January through June on one side and then July through December on the other side and then before I go on um, I do use a divider in this side so these dividers I'll use these three first are from um, Marlene's plan to create they were just blank um, dividers I got the three tab um, three top tab dividers and you can get them printed I believe with things on it but I'm always kind of tweaking how I do things so I don't like to commit to how I'm labeling my divider so all I did was get this um, brother P touch label maker which was on sale for Black Friday for like 10 bucks. Um, I learned about it from another planner girl in the Instagram community. So I ran out and bought it. I got some um, black printing on clear tape. And then I printed out year, week, and today. So the year one goes right here. So I can easily flip to this year view and basically I just use this for reference to see the dates throughout the year but I also use it to track my periods so I just would highlight the week that my period is on so I can just track that info and then the last thing that's included in the yearly bundle is this um, so this is for 2019 and then this is for 2020 for forward planning so if there's any things that are coming up for 2019 but you're not I mean sorry for 2020 but you're not planning that yet you could just jot it down here um, so you don't lose that information. So that is the whole um, yearly bundle that will be available very soon in the shop. And that's the first section of my planner. And then the next section is my monthly. So I'm using these dividers from cloth and paper. I've had them for I think a couple of years now. And 
they are foiled um, lettering here if you can see that and they are unlaminated they're on thick like um, I don't know cardstock I guess textured cardstock and they hold up really well even though they're not laminated I've like I said I've had them for a while and they look great still so I only put I'm only gonna put January through June in my planner for now so I don't bulk it up too much so I have that here and then let me see my inserts I printed out January through June of my monthly insert so I can stick it in here so then here is another update for you for the inserts I kind of um, reformatted how I did the monthly inserts and before they were like just the monthly spread and then on the front page and the back page was just like a dot grid and I decided to redesign it to utilize that space better so here's how it looks so let's turn for January so January I'd stick right in here so the first page says this month and basically this is for forward planning so anything like say right now it's December right now but I have something that I know is coming up in January that I have to remember I would jot it down here so anything that needs to be planned out for January I would jot it here you can use it however you want I'm just telling you how I'm using it so that's that first page and then I reformed, reformatted how the spread itself looks like so I did redo hand lettering for all months and then I added another change is I added little faint lines in these boxes because I don't know about you but even in these small boxes my handwriting always ends up crooked and that really bugs me so these are just little guides so you could write a little bit more straight um, another change I made is I moved the notes column it used to be on this side I moved it to this side um, my thinking behind that was when I go and look at my month or plan out my month, I would like to use these as either goals or focuses or priorities for that week. So I have it here at the beginning. So I know for like the week of the 7th, I'm focusing on so-and-so. I have it right here and that means for this whole week, this is my priority. And then um, another thing is I added this little box here. And just because I was trying to utilize this space a little bit more, um, I thought this would be a good box for a uh, gratitude, a word of gratitude, a word of the month, um, a focus of the month, an important project of the month, something that you just want to call your attention to. Or you can just cover it up with stickers and washi if you don't want to use that. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the changes I made. These are gonna be available for 2019 dated. So monthly inserts are the only ones that I date. Daily and weekly inserts will remain undated, um, but these will be dated for 2019, Monday through Sunday. And I'm also this year going to offer a Sunday through Saturday because I've gotten a lot of requests for that. So you'll be able to get them dated Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday. And then the back page is just a notes page to use however you wish. So yeah, that is how I redesigned the monthly inserts. And so like I said, I keep January through June here. So I'll go ahead and put in, here's February. Here's March. April, May, and then June. So that's my monthly section. Oops, there's June. And then next would be weekly. So I have my weekly divider here and my weekly insert so here's another update to the inserts i decided to make the weekly insert as a fold out insert um, i've used a version of peanuts planner co her monthly insert i used it as a weekly insert that's very similar to this but i decided to make my own um, to be more specific to um, how i use it so the way I designed it is, well, first of all, 
when you first get them. These will be in a bundle of five weeks. So you'll get five of this set. And when you put in your planner, the first page is just a blank notes page. Um, for me, I'm gonna use this for my budget for the week and I'll tell you more about that later. And then when you open it up, then you see four boxes here. And what I like about this is I'm gonna use this box for, you can use it for whatever you want, that's why I left it blank, but I'm gonna use this box for menu planning for the week. I'm gonna use this box for, well, it might move around. This is gonna be, one box is gonna be for menu planning dinners. One is gonna be for errands that I have to run during the week because sometimes it's not on a spe specific day, it's just whenever I can get to it. So I would write it here. And then one is going to be for Happy Mail. So like if I order something and it hasn't shipped yet and I don't know exactly what day it's coming, but I do know it's coming this week, then I'll write it here. And then I haven't figured out what I'm going to use the fourth box for. I did think I might use it for social media planning, but um, I haven't 100% decided that yet. So those four boxes there. And then when you open the flaps, that's where you see the weekly spread. So... Um, it's Monday through Sunday and it's only going to be offered Monday through Sunday. This column here is blank for you to use it for however you wish. The way I would use it is to write any projects or tasks that need to be done this week but not on a specific day. And then the way I use it is this column, I, I took out the dividers in other inserts I used before. There was like dividers for rows. This time, um, or on this insert, I left it wide open so it's more flexible to fit your needs, but I did add lines across so you could write straight. Um, so it's just a week at a glance. This is how I plan my week every single week. And um, like I said, I'll, you, I'll show you in detail later, but quickly, I just write what's happening for the day, anything for my schedule, then I write tasks here, and then I have little things down here like happy mail and tv shows at the bottom and then i left it open like i said so you could divide it up whichever way you like and then when you turn the page over there's another note section and you can use it however you like like i said for me this is going to be budgeting like my budget for the week and then this is actually i'm going to log here how i'm actually spending so i can keep track of what i'm spending so that is the weekly section and then I have the daily section. So I use this divider, which I labeled today. And then I have my new today insert. So I just printed out a few for right now. These are all test prints. Um, so I just printed out, usually I would keep a whole month to month and a half worth of daily inserts in my planner. So right now, I don't know, I just printed out a handful. And so this is how it looks. I changed it up and it's actually a day on two pages now, not a day on one page. So with this divider, I put an Ollie clip, this gold Ollie clip, and I clip it. Usually it's somewhere around here where I don't have anything written or it could be up here or, or even up here, but usually it's somewhere around there. And so whenever a day passes, I just clip it onto into this little bundle here. So when I open my daily tab, it goes straight to the day. And then just quickly to go over it, I use this column for my schedule divided by morning, afternoon, and evening. And I use this column for all my to-do lists. And I usually also divide it into morning, afternoon, and evening. This little box is new. So I kind of reformatted how the daily page looks. This box is for any Again, like gratitude, focus, priority, projects. Sometimes I'll put a sticker in here and write if it's someone's birthday and decorate that a little bit. In this little empty section, that's I write the date there. So like today's Saturday, I would write S12-8 for the date, right in this little section. But you can use it any way you like. And then for this section, um, I use for notes. And I find this so helpful. So anytime I'm planning, when anything comes up out, I take my planner with me everywhere. So anything comes up, something I remember I have to do, something someone asked me, anything like that, I jot it down here right away so I don't lose that information. And then at the end of the day, I this is like my inbox, I, would, I guess you could say. And then I process this at the end of the day, like move that info 
wherever in my planner that it needs to go. So that's why I decided to make it part of the daily um, insert, the day on two page, because I find that super, super helpful in not losing information. And then something new I'm doing for 2019 is I'm getting one of the Foxy Fix um, pockets. And this is the one with the pocket on the top and bottom. And I'm putting that right there. And then I am taking, actually these are, well, this top one I'm still deciding on. I believe that I'm going to be using these weekly trackers. This is a free printable, I believe. I think it's free, but it's definitely a printable from Peanuts Planner Co. And I think you can get it on her Facebook group. Um, they're really meant to be printed onto three by three sticky notes. Um, for, for now, I've just printed it on, on regular white paper because I'm just sticking it here in this pocket. So I didn't want it sticky for now. I'm still trying to decide if I will print it on sticky notes and stick it to the front. But right now I'm just sticking it in this pocket. So these are going to be for daily habits that I want to do. So I like to have it right here front and center in my daily spread. And then for the bottom pocket, I took an idea from Maddie Plans. So she has, um, I think she calls them task flags and she sells them and I was about to buy them. I even typed up my whole order, but then I decided to make my own only because I wanted, I'm super picky and those of you who've been following me for a while know how minimalistic I like everything. I only wanted gray. I didn't want any other colors and right now her colors are like in a set of like the the set I was looking at had like gray, blue, pink, and yellow, I think. And I think soon she is going to um, offer all one color kind of sets. But right now she doesn't. So I decided just to make my own. And this is just like on a um, printer paper. And I used some page flags that I got at Daiso. And so it came in a set like this. And um, I don't use any of these other colors, just the gray. I might use the white ones, but I'm just using the gray ones. And I, again, I used this um, Brother P-Touch label maker. And all I did was print out, you know, the tasks that I wanted to print and put them on the flags and organize them according to category. So this is like for my girls' school. I made a set for um, finances type thing having to do with money. I made a set for my work. I made a set for the shop. Another set for the shop. Um, this is for like products, but this is for communications and another one for my work. So what I plan to do there is to keep them in this pocket here until I need them. And then, um, so these are according to a day. So like on Mondays, this is for Monday. These are all the tasks I have to do for my job on Monday. So I'm going to, I would stick them to the outside. And then stick this here so you can't see what's behind it. And then I would have it there. So then on Monday, as I'm going through my tasks, so say, let's say I updated all the web pages, I would take this off. And probably, I haven't done this yet, this is brand new, so I think what I'm going to do is move it to the back. So that way I know I just have these two left. And then once I do them all, I'll stick them back on this paper and back into the pocket. So this is how um, my new kind of, this is probably, I think, the biggest change that I have for 2019 in the way I have my daily set up. And I think it's going to work out really well. I really like how it looks. Oh. So then after my daily section, like I said, I usually keep one month to a month and a half worth of inserts there. Then, oh, I forgot this one. So this um, secretarial pocket from Foxy Fix, I forgot that I was going to keep that. I forgot to put it in here, but I'm going to keep that here in my weekly section. So I mentioned that um, for my weekly insert, for the front side I was going to use for my budget for the week. So that's at the beginning of the week. And then on the back side of the weekly um, fold out, I'm going to use for tracking what I spend. So I'm keeping this pocket right here to put receipts in. So sometimes, you know, I get a receipt and I usually don't log it right away. So I can just 
stick it in this pocket here and then at the end of the day or whenever I have time then I'll get those receipts and log it here to track my spending and so the front section is going to be for personal spending which is what I track here and then the back um, pocket will be for business spending which I'm going to track back there I'll show you in a minute so that's what I'm going to use that for And then, so after my daily section, um, I have my divide, my other dividers for um, like projects. So again, I have these three dividers, um, clear dividers from Marlene's Plan to Create. I use my label maker to mark FAM, YM5, and HSP. So FAM is really personal, but personal was too long to fit. So most of the personal things I'm doing has to do with family, so I just put FAM. Um, YM5 is actually all creative stuff. So before it used to be TPS, which is the planner spot, but I'm kind of expanding what I'm doing for 2019, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. So it's under the umbrella of YM5 and I'll tell you what that means later. And then HSP is for my day job. So that's the last tab. So the first tab is family. And then I made a new insert that will be available in the shop and this is a projects page. And the way I did it is in a calendar format, a monthly calendar format. I left it blank because I don't know if you like to um, have your calendar Monday through Sunday or Saturday through, wait, what is it? Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday. Um, so I left it blank because I'm not going to offer these dated. They're going to be completely undated. So you can write in how you like to do your calendar. Um, so basically for me, I'm going to use this for project planning. So anything that's a bigger project, not like assignments due, but like a report to do for my girls or something like someone's birthday coming up in the family that I need to plan for. Like if it's my daughter's birthday and I need to send out invitations and make a guest list, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can map it out here on a monthly view. And then down here are just spaces to put miscellaneous to-dos. And then when you close it, I have two boxes here for anything that you want to use it for. For me, I'm going to use it for extra projects like, let's say, decluttering the house or something like that. It has a space for two projects or notes whatever you like to use it for and then on the back side again is a place for notes so you can use it for whatever you like um, and I'll share some ideas at a, another time of how I use it then the next section oh sorry so after the projects page I do some note paper so I have this available in the shop so I usually put like a few um, pages of blank grid for note paper and then the next section is YM5 and then it's the same thing I have a projects page and some note paper just a few pages of note paper and then lastly is work and projects page and note paper and then besides those things I forgot to mention here that I have some printables from Peanuts Planner Co. So any inserts I use in here are either my inserts or from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, the only inserts that I would have in my shop are part of this planning system that I created with the um, goals Bund or the yearly like goals bundle, the monthly, the weekly, the daily, the projects page, and the note paper. That's it. That's all I'm going to offer for now. It's like a planning system. One flows to the other. They all work together. And um, I'll show you how that works in the upcoming videos. But any other inserts that I need that I'm not going to create, I really love Peanuts Planner Co. I'll link her below. So the first one, so let me close this so I can flip to where I'm going to use it. The first one is this fold out, um, a yearly fold out. So it's January through June on the front, July through December on the back. It's like a perpetual calendar, um, 1 through 31 or, you know, to the last day of the month. Um, and the way I'm going to use this is here in my 
yearly calendar. So behind this year at a glance and this forward planning one, I'm gonna have this one right here. And I use this for tracking my weight and my health stats. So I do, I started this like the later part of 2018 and I really liked having it all together, all the information so I can see from month to month how I'm doing. And so I'm gonna continue that on for 2019. So I keep that insert right there. And then the other insert that I downloaded from Penis Planner Co. is this passwords in insert. This is a big project I wanna do um, ASAP for 2019 is update all my passwords. And so I keep that in the family section or personal section. And I would keep that right after my projects page. I'll have this here because this is also a project that I'm going to be doing before my notes paper. And then the last insert that I have from Penis Punter Co. is this other kind of year at a glance. And this is like, I forget what she calls it, but it has the small calendar and a place for um, like tasks or notes. And I'm using this in the YM5 section to plan out, actually for TPS, I'm going to plan out like... Um, videos, video ideas, blog post ideas, and stickers, and subscription ideas here. So I like having a calendar to reference while I'm planning that out right here. And then, so the last section in here was work, and after the notes paper, I have a couple of things here. So I have this um, little pocket, envelope pocket, I like this one because just like the Foxy Fix, I don't think I mentioned that. What I really liked about the Foxy Fix is I've had platter pockets from other you know, companies and they're usually wider. So they would kind of like cover up these tabs here. What I really like about Foxy Fix um, pockets is it's the exact size of my personal size paper. So it blends right in. It looks a lot more cleaner in my opinion. So that's what I like about this little pocket too. Same thing, it doesn't extend past my page, so it just has a much more cleaner look. This is an old day runner um, pocket or plastic envelope. I don't even know if day runner even exists anymore, but I got this from a thrift shop. It actually came in an old day runner planner there that they were selling for like $1.89 or something like that. And all I wanted was this little plastic envelope. So I told the cashier that and he took it out and just sold it for, to me for like 50 cents or something like that. So that's a tip for me to you that I every time I go to a thrift store, I always look in the office supply section to look for planner stuff on the cheap. And what I use this for is to hold these things. So, um... I have a little washi card. This is from Marlene's Plan to Create as well. I got it with these dividers. And I wrapped some Simply Gilded washi um, around it. And I keep it here in the pocket. I use this all the time for a number of different things, not just planning. Um, one time, my daughter needed a makeshift band-aid, so I cut a tissue and wrapped washi tape around it. One time, her um, sticker name tag went stay on on a field trip. I use washi tape to tape it to her shirt. So super handy to have some washi tape on hand at all times. And then I have this little Starbucks card, which I got a long time ago. I always get questions of how people can get this card and I don't think it's available anymore. I got it years ago, but what I use it for is to cut my washi, to trim my washi, like when you have it on the page and then you just rip it. So I keep that here. And then I always carry these um, refills with me and it's because it's happened to me many times where I was out and about planning my pen runs out and I only use friction erasable pens and so if my ink runs out then I'm SOL until I get back home so now I carry this with me here in my planner so I always have extras in case I run out while I'm on the go and that's for this friction pen which I'll talk about in a minute so this little pocket or envelope holds just some extra necessities. I really like this too because it doesn't have a zipper and I don't like zippers because it pokes into either my pages or my planner um, making like little dents. So I like this that it doesn't have any zipper. 
And then behind that, I keep this little platter pocket, and this is from Shop Minted Sugar. I've had it forever. Um, and I keep extra stickers back there. So I have these stickers. These are stickers I have in the shop, or I custom made these ones for myself, but I just cut off, trimmed down the edges, and it fits perfectly into this pocket. So I have extra stickers to plan on the go. These are like stickers that I use most often, or most often on the go, I should say. And then back here, I keep a field, a field notes little um, booklet. And I like this for um, brainstorming mostly. That's what I mostly use it for, brainstorming stuff for um, like creative ideas. So I keep this tucked into the back here. It fits nicely back there. So then the last things I have are my pens. And I've mentioned these before, but if you're new here, I'll talk about it again. I always have my gray mild liner pen. Um, I'll link it down below. And um, I use this for crossing off completed tasks because I like it better than scribbling it out with a pen. I think it looks nicer. And then I have this Friction. Um, this one's a Friction Ball Slim, I think they call it. Erasable pen. And what I like about this one, they have, so this one was like, I don't know, like 13 bucks or something like that on Jet Pens. I got it from Jet Pens. Um, they do have a cheaper one, which is just like a plastic barrel, which you could get like, I don't know, three of them or four of them for $5 or $7 or something like that. But what I like about this one, the plastic barreled ones don't have this little clip here. And so when I stuck it into my pen loop here and these slim pens are like one of the only pens I could find that fit nicely into the Louis Vuitton MM Agenda pen loop, um, it would slip right through without this clip. So that's why I decided to get this one, the Biz, I guess, the Biz line, because it has this clip and it doesn't slip through because I clip it right there. And then I needed a place to hold this extra uh, mild liner. So I have these little elastic pen loops, which I included in the November subscription kit for all the subscribers. Um, and I got it from Grace and Glam. I forget, I'll link her down below. Um, she has different colors. Of course I chose black and then I just slip it onto my um, planner strap here. And then I have an extra spot to hold my mild liner here. So that's how I set up my planner for 2019. This is how it looks at the top. I love how these little dingle clips look, like a little bit of bling, a little bit of jewelry for my planner. I love how these top tabs look. The clear ones look so clean. Here's how this looks on the side. Love those cloth and paper tabs. And that's how I'm all set up for 2019. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found some useful information. In the coming weeks, I will film some videos to show you how I fill out these inserts. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to join me for that. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below so, or shoot me a message. And that's about it. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.